what's good y'all so today is day two of vlogmas um i hope y'all enjoyed my video from yesterday with the banana pudding that thing was hitting man that was him um but so today is day two um for today's video i was scrolling twitter the other day and i ran across this old smoky gatlinburg tennessee cookies and cream uh like whiskey they're a whiskey brand and um they have this mountain made cookies and cream whiskey uh the guy that posted it said, I just found my holiday liquor. It tastes like a vanilla milkshake. It's so smooth, you don't even taste the whiskey. Um, if y'all didn't know this about me, I don't really like drinking liquor, but I like mixed drinks, amarettos, uh, disarano, and stuff like that. Stuff that's very sweet. I don't like to taste the liquor, that alcohol. I don't like that alcohol taste, but I like mixed drink, um, amarettos, stuff like that. So. I seen this and I was like, this is right up my alley. So today for this video, of course, like I said yesterday, I gotta go get my hair cut today. Then we gonna run around and see who got this in stock. And I'm gonna review it on this video for y'all. So this is day two of Vlogmas and that's what we doing today. Um, I'll show y'all the Twitter post, Old Smoky Gatlinburg, Tennessee Cookies and Cream. So that's what we trying today. All right, y'all just got my hair cut. So we're on the way to the to the first spot to see if they got it. So they ain't have it. Um, so now we about to go to another store around the corner, try to see if they got it in stock. Hopefully they got it. Um, if not, then we gonna I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna get it though, cause I said I was gonna review it, so I gotta find it. So I said the next store and see if they got it. So we pulling up the frugal McDougal right now. About to see if they got it in here. Hopefully they do. Man, y'all ain't gonna believe this. <laughs> they ain't have it either, so what I should have did from the beginning, and I wasn't even thinking that it would be something that um, would be hard to find like this. I should have just looked online and see who had it in stock. Um, so I did go ahead and look online, and um, it said it says a store in Fort Mill has it in stock. So that's about ten minutes away from me. Um, so I'm about to pull up there and see if they actually do have it in stock. Hopefully they do because it says they do online um, So we can go ahead and get it. So on the store number three. All right now We had lick store number three About to go in here And hopefully they got it if they don't We coming up with something else man. If they ain't got it. We, we, we got another plan. We got another plan. Hey, online, it said they had it in stock. I pull up, they ain't got it in stock. So now what I'm about to do, cause, cause it's oh so elusive, what I'm about to do, I'm about to call around and see who got it. So I'll be right back, I'm about to call around. All right, so I found the store who said they got it. I asked him, I, I showed him, well, I didn't show him, but I explained the description of the bottle. I told him exactly what it is. Um, they have it at State Line. Um, basically, it's a liquor store that's right in between uh, the South Carolina and North Carolina borders, um, and it's called State Line. Kind of close to Carolina Place Mall. So I'm about to pull up. He, he told me, he assured me that they do have it. If they ain't got it, and I pull up, he told me that they got it, I'm whipping his ass. All right, pulling up to the last one. Um, I called, he said they got it. I made sure, <laughs> I made sure they got it. So let's go in here and see if they do have it. Man, that, <laughs> I went in there and I was like, yeah, I called about the cookies and cream, old smoky Tennessee. 
I asked him, do y'all do y'all have it? Like, where is it? He said, I don't know if we have it. Boy, I was about to whoop his ass. He was like, all right, come over here. Let's see if they have it over by the creams. And they did have it. So I did secure the bag. We about to go back to the crib. We're going to test it out, and I'm going to review it for y'all. Um, and I'll let y'all know my thoughts on it. I'm back, baby. What a love. Come on now. Here. And I'm just realizing, bro, this is an extra large. This should fit like a dress. Maybe I am losing weight, huh? <laughs> nah, but yeah. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. So like I said, got it from State Line. It was $19.99, $21.39 with tax. <laughs> yeah. Old Smoky, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, cookies and cream. It's a 750 milliliters, 17.5% alcohol. 35 proof so first off what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try it without ice and see how i like it without ice and i'm gonna try it with ice okay so it's like a milk consistency i don't know what made me think that it would be like a regular liquor Matter of fact, I'll tell you what made me think that. So I do have the cookie dough version, which is regular whiskey, like. So I thought the cookies and cream version would be the same, but nah, this is milk. And it says refrigerate after opening anyway. Um, so I guess I should've knew that would be like a milk. But um, let's see. So smelling it. It smells like cookies and cream. Like it actually does smell like cookies and cream. Um, you can smell like the alcohol a little bit, but it smells exactly like cookies and cream. Like, so let's try it without ice first. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Okay. That tastes just like, it tastes just like cookies and cream ice cream or a cookies and cream milkshake from like Cookout or Sonic or something like that. Tastes good. So without ice, I give it, I give it a seven. Milk consistency, like I said, smell like cookies and cream. Tastes just like cookies and cream, like a cookies and cream milkshake. Um, the liquor taste isn't overbearing. It's very smooth. Um, you can taste the alcohol just a tad bit, but it's not overbearing. Like you gotta make a crazy face to it, but yeah, it's good. Let's go get some ice and try it with ice. All right, so I did put ice in my cup. Gonna pour me up some more. Oh, that's that's way better. With the ice, that's way better. Yeah. So without ice, I'll give it a seven out of ten. With ice, I give it an eight point five out of ten. It's really good. Like I said, you can still taste the alcohol in it, which I don't like, but it's cool. That's why I can't give it like a nine or 10, because that slight alcohol taste, but I definitely recommend like giving this as a gift or something. It's only $20, like give it as a gift to like your parents or you know what I'm saying, your partner or whoever, like it's something chill, something cool to drink. I wouldn't drink it every day because it's milk, um, but it's good, something to pull up around this time of the year when it get cold, pour it in your hot chocolate or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it's definitely good. I recommend going to try it if you can. Like I said, I had to go to four different locations and on the fourth try, I got it. Um, 
So yeah, definitely call though. If you're gonna go somewhere and look for this, call first to make sure they have it because it was elusive. I had to go to four different stores, like I said, and as y'all seen, so yeah. Definitely um, go try this. If you guys want, I would recommend trying it. Um, also, try the cookie dough one too. Now this one is 30% alcohol and 60 proof. So basically double what the cookies and cream one is. But like I said, I don't like the strong liquor taste, but that cookie dough one is good too. You guys can try that one as well, but yeah. Definitely be on the lookout for this. Um, I would recommend going to try it, check it out for yourself. Don't listen to me, we all got different taste buds, so if you go buy it and don't like it, hey, that's on you. Um, but yeah, this was day two of Vlogmas. Um, I don't know what we doing tomorrow. I haven't decided just yet, but like I said, I'm going all 25 days, so stay locked in and cheers.